The main royal residence in the UK, Buckingham Palace, although it seems to be an impregnable fortress behind a high fence with barbed wire, in fact is quite vulnerable. Incredibly enough, outsiders have broken into the palace at least 12 times, and sometimes without even suspecting who exactly lives behind this fence. The most discussed case occurred in the summer of 1982. In early June, a certain Michael Fagan, a 33-year-old painter who had recently separated from his wife, decided to visit the Queen for a change. We know about this visit mainly from his own words, so if we can believe them, the man jumped over the fence and climbed the wall of the palace through a drain pipe and got inside through an open window under the roof. There Fagan came across a maid who immediately called security, but he managed to escape before their arrival. It would seem here that the Queen's guard should have rushed to search for an uninvited guest, but no. They simply did not believe the maid's story, and at the same time, Michael was wandering through the rooms of the palace, snacking on the cheese and cookies he found, and managed to sit on the throne, study the gifts for Prince William's birthday displayed in one of the rooms, and drink half a bottle of expensive white wine. Several times an alarm was triggered by his presence, but the guards decided that there was a short circuit and simply turned it off. Surprisingly, only fatigue stopped Fagan. He had just got tired of walking around the huge residence and went home. Many years later, the man said that getting out of the palace turned out to be somewhat more difficult than climbing into it. He searched for an open door for a long time until he found one leading to the park, climbed over the wall, and walked towards Trafalgar Square. No one would have known about his visit, except for the frightened maid, if Fagan had not decided to repeat his adventure. It is difficult to say why he climbed into Buckingham Palace again, because the main character of this story changed his testimony several times. According to one version, on the night of July 8th, he was drinking in a London bar and bet his comrades five pounds that he could be in the Queen's bedroom. Michael spent the entire prize fund on a taxi to the palace and even told the taxi driver about his plan. But he, of course, did not believe the drunk passenger. According to another version, he just wanted to wander around the palace again and accidentally entered the royal chambers. At about 7 a.m., Fagin climbed into the palace by the proven route. This time, he decided to walk barefoot so as not to make too much noise. But when drunk, it is extremely difficult. So onto the way to Her Majesty's chambers, the man broke an ashtray and cut his hand. His movements were again recorded by an automatic alarm system, but the guards again attributed to problems with electrical wiring. Meanwhile, Michael Fagan was staggering but trying to win the argument and managed to get into the Queen's bedroom. He got in just at the time of the guard's shift change and therefore entered the room unhindered. Elizabeth woke up from the noise and was shocked to see a stranger. She asked him, what are you doing here? And tried to call security, but no one came. Then the queen, with her usual impeccable manners, turned to the man with, just a minute, I'll call someone, and ran out of the room. The queen came after the troublemaker only 10 minutes later. During this time, the footman offered him a glass of whiskey, and Elizabeth, along with her maid, lured the man into the pantry under the pretext that they would give him cigarettes. At first, however, Fagin had told everyone that he'd been sitting on the edge of the bed for those 10 minutes and talking to the monarch, but this is nothing but bragging. The incident caused a huge scandal. Margaret Thatcher personally apologized to the Queen for such a gross violation of security measures. The Home Secretary offered his resignation and Scotland Yard revealed many flaws and outright mistakes in the work of the Royal Guard. Fagan explained that his actions were influenced by a soup he ate six months ago that contained hallucinogenic mushrooms. Fagan was taken into custody, however he was soon released since at that time entering the royal residence was not considered a criminal offense. The man was accused only of theft because of the bottle of wine he drank during the first visit, but the court acquitted him. After spending three months in a mental hospital, Fagan was released. And why do you think Michael Fagan climbed into the palace? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.